Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to day 98 of our Bible reading plan. We are reading through the Bible in one year together, and I'm so glad that you've joined us on the journey today. I'm coming to you from San Francisco. If I feel, if I sound a little bit blocked up, that is really bad hay fever uh, going on here at the moment. So uh, I hope it's not too much of a bother for you, but I'm super excited to be here in the pollen infested San Francisco, bringing you um, my thoughts and reflections on the passages of scripture that we're reading today. Thank you so much for joining us and I hope it's a blessing to you and I hope that this whole journey is being a blessing to you that as you're reading through the scriptures and you're spending time in the presence of God that God is speaking to you in a powerful, powerful way. So. Um, The first thing that really spoke to me out of um, the readings for today was out of Luke where we see, you know, Jesus is going, we've heard this in the previous, um, the previous gospels as well. Um, Jesus is saying, hey, you know, don't worry about um, what you'll eat or drink or these sorts of things because God already knows what you need before you even ask him. Um, You know, don't be anxious for anything. God, you know, close the, close the lilies of the field or whatever it is. And, you know, looks after the birds and how much more does he look after you? And in this whole like exchange, as Jesus is talking about not worrying because God already knows, um, the, the thing that really stood out to me was the fact that he said for your father already knows what you need before you ask him he already knows what's going on in your life he already knows what you have need of what you could potentially worry about he already knows he is aware of it and it just reminded me of you know when when we have problems sometimes and and we're calling up customer service um my credit card got blocked while I was over in the States because, um, you know, it's unusual activity to be using your card in different, in a different space. And, you know, you spend a couple hours on the phone just talking to one person and then the customer service people like put you on, on hold and and transfer you through to another area and this sort of thing. And all, all times you have to sort of like just explain what's going on and explain what the problem is. And it can be a sort of tedious process when you're going through that whole like customer service sort of situation. But I love this idea that God already knows. He already knows what's going on. Before we even ask him, he already knows the problems. He already knows those things that we could be worried about, that we could be struggling with. And because he already knows, we know that he cares and that he is not only um, sovereign and powerful enough to move in our hearts and lives and moves in our circumstances, and situations but he already knows and he's already got it covered and so just that whole idea that we can rest in the fact that he knows um, was just such a comforting thought to me today that you know there is so much going on in our world today so much going on in our lives today sometimes even just the expression of like trying to explain what's going on and trying to explain what we're worried about maybe we can't articulate it but we know that as, as we come into the presence of God and as we spend time with him we know that he knows even better than we know that he understands even better than we understand and he is there for us and we can um, trust him and we can sit with him and we can draw strength from him knowing that he is looking after us so just love that thought today Um, also I loved in Deuteronomy chapter 12 uh, chapter 10 and verse 12 where it says and now Israel what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God and to walk in all his ways to love him to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and to keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord which I am commanding you today for your good. Behold to the Lord your God belong he- um, heaven and, and the he- heaven of heavens, the earth with all that is in it. Yet the Lord set his heart in love on your fathers and chose their offspring after them, you above all peoples as you are this day. So I love here that we have this reiteration of the law and, and this relationship that we remember you know at Mount Sinai that the people of Israel the children of Israel were 
told hey God wants to basically like bring you into relationship this sort of marriage covenant with Israel God wants to have this relationship with you and so therefore there are requirements that you are supposed to uphold because you are getting this incredible position you are playing this incredible role that God has chosen you out of everyone in the earth you don't deserve to be chosen but God has chosen you and I loved in this passage of scripture again how we see not just the requirements but the love we see the relationship we see the why behind the what we see why God is asking of them to act in a certain way and to behave a certain way and to uphold a certain standard it is because of who he has elevated them to be it is because of the status that he has placed on them in the relationship that he has with them and just a great great reminder to us today as well that there are many reasons why God puts, you know, standards on us as Christians to live holy lives. And it's because it's the best life we can live. It's because that's the most free life we can live. Um, it's because that's when we will see the blessing of God and the favor of God on our lives. But also it's because we are reflecting our relationship with him. We are reflecting a holy God. We are reflecting his holiness on the earth and the fact that we are the apple of his eye and we are in relationship with him. And so um, another great reason why we can um, be reminded of who we are and how we should live today. We're upholding at, um, at the status of who God has called us to be because we are in relationship with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords like that we never, you know, deserved or were worthy of. But God has given us that position, that role, that title, that status. So I'd love to pray for us today, my friend. I would love to pray uh, firstly that we would um, just encounter God in a new and fresh way. We would be reminded of um, the fact that he loves us, that he cares for us, that we don't have to stress or worry because he is with us and he understands everything that's going on in our life. He already knows what we're going through and what we're going to go through before it even happens. And so we can just spend time in his presence and encounter him in a new way knowing that he deeply understands what we are going through today and I would love to pray for us as well pray secondly that you know um, we would be reminded that you know we have this particular status we have this particular particular role in the relationship that God has called us to uh, that is an elevated status we are holy as he is holy we are a kingdom of priests we are um, the people of God and so I pray that that revelation would come that we would live in the fullness of that revelation living holy as God is holy because of the relationship that he has allowed us to enter into with him. So God, I just thank you for my friend today. I thank you for the opportunity that we have to read through your word together, God. I thank you, Holy Spirit, firstly, that we would just have a deep encounter with you today, God, just sitting in your presence, knowing that you know and you care about what we're going through, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that even before we articulate it, even before we're able to say, this is what I'm worried about, or this is what I'm stressed about, if it's just all these thoughts going through our mind, just these anxious thoughts, and we can't put our finger on it, God, thank you that you know. Thank you that you understand. Thank you that you know, even before we articulate it, even before we ask you already know what we have need of and so God I just pray that we would have an encounter with you today just an encounter with your love and your comfort and um, just being reminded of the fact that you are our provider that you are here for us that you go before us God and that you're walking with us Lord and I pray Holy Spirit as well that we would um, we would be able to live holy as you are holy God because we would um, live out of that foundation of the relationship that we have with you Lord God and I thank you that it's not just a bunch of rules to uphold but God as we're living out of this relationship Relationship, we start to fulfill um, that role and that status and that expectation and those behaviors. It comes naturally with um, the status that you've elevated us to as holy kingdom, a kingdom of priests, um, as you have called us to be, Lord God. So I just pray that we would experience your goodness today. I pray, Holy Spirit, um, whatever we have need of, God, I thank you that you already know. And God, I thank you that you care. And Lord, I just pray 
that all anxiety would go today in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, my friend. Um, it has been such an honor to do this journey with you. Tomorrow, I'm heading off to Dallas. So super excited to be ministering over at a church in Dallas called Dwell Church um, with pastors David and Nicole Binion, who are just some heroes uh, in the church. Incredible worship ministry that they have. And I'm just so honored to be with them at their church. So I will catch you tomorrow on my way to Dallas. So see you guys then. I'll catch you soon. Bye.